like that. Most people, obviously, are, everyone's aware of what's happening. Um, but at the end of the day, you kind of get this feeling of, okay, it's fine, don't panic, it, it's contained. Um, and I see it from, well, not just from like people I know, it's also from a business perspective as well. I run a business here. So clients ask, hey, how, how are things you know, in the East and is it going to spread? And uh, I mean, the, the one thing I've always kind of, I, I would say the one thing that I've always felt has been true here is that I've never felt unsafe in Ukraine. Even now, I've never felt unsafe. I felt uncomfortable before. Right? I felt maybe a bit uncertain, but I've never felt unsafe. And I think maybe it comes from that, that when you're in this constant state of that there's conflict in the East, there's this neighbor that always has issues with you, um, you, you it becomes kind of a new normal. If you, especially when I came, right, you, you, you have friends in the community, um, you feel like you've made an impact, you know so many people, and of course, you know, my, my lovely wife, and it's, and it's not just us, right, so it's my wife, our dog, um, our extended family. So obviously as an American, I know, okay, I can, I can go, I could probably have my wife, she can come with me, maybe figure out the dog too, but you don't want to leave, you know, babushka, you don't want to leave, you know, brothers and sisters. So. Is it, in, is it in my mind, like, do I know that maybe things might get to that point where I have to go? Sure. Are, are there contingency plans? Yeah, you have to take it seriously, right? But you want to stay as long as you can, right? Just because of those relationships and the people. When I made the decision to stay, I knew that, look, I have to have plans, right, just in case. The U.S. government can only do so much. And um, to their credit, you know, they, they warned us. I mean, they sent me an email. I didn't answer, so they called, right? So to their credit, they are telling people, hey, look, this is the extent of what we can do. But um, no, I, I think to be here, a lot of the people, you know, you'll speak to or people I know, we knew that getting into it, right? You knew when you came during Maidan that, look, if something goes wrong, you, you, you have to figure it out on your own. So you kind of live with that and, um, you know, make your plans as, as best you can. hardest thing is probably knowing when to leave because we clearly don't want to leave. I think most people don't want to leave at all. Um, Ukraine's a wonderful place, right? But how do you know when to leave, right? Is it just because the, the U.S. government says leave, but not every government says leave, right? There are other, you know, but there's Brazilian um, residents here, but they're not telling people to leave. So, okay, maybe it's just how they see it to kind of get in front of it just in case. So everyone's a bit cautious, but that, to me, that's the hardest thing. It's like, when, when do we say, okay, pick up the go bag and let's get out of here. But you want to hold on for as long as you can.